Okay, so for this demonstration, what we're going to do is import images into Maya and use them to basically stencil out new models. Um, the images that I'm using, I've just gathered from Google Images. Um, the best way to get an image is make sure that it's straight on. Uh, don't try and get one that's at a, that a photo has been taken at an angle because it'll just make it more awkward for this section. So we can import images in the any viewport here by going view image plane import image but what we never want to do is import an image into your perspective view because it ends up being a bit disastrous and um, if you've got a top down image the best way to do is put it in the top view if you've got a front image put it in the front or if you've got a side image put it in the right so I'm working from um, a side or a front image uh, so I'm going to just put it in the front so I'm going to maximize that just by pressing space and then I'm just going to go view, image plane, import image. Okay, so we can see here that in my source images I've got sword white lamp. So I'm going to open that up. And you can see that it's taken that image in. We go to the other view. And we can see it there. Right, so I know this lamp um, is kind of like a cil cylinder that's been stretched or scaled out as it moves up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my polygons. And in my perspective view, I'm going to start setting up a cylinder. Okay, so once I've done it in my perspective, I can press 5. Go into my front view again, press 5, just so it's shaded. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down and scale it by the middle. Very important that you scale it by the middle. If you're scaling it by one of these sides, it might look okay there, but if you go into your perspective, you'll notice that it's no longer a cylinder. Okay, so again, remember to scale it by middle. And, and what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to line up this top edge so it's meeting both sides of the lamp equally. That should be okay. And then I'm gonna just grab this bottom layer of faces, okay? I could go around holding shift and select them all individual, but if I use my marquee tool and select that area where it's got that bottom selection and the middle. Now if I hold shift and drag across the middle, it deselects those, which just makes it that bit easier easier. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale this one out again so it's meeting that curve. And then all I have to do is go edit mesh, extrude, press W to move it down, and make sure that it's still lining up with the lamp on both sides. If it's starting to get awkward and both sides aren't lining up, just work off one side. That should be fine. So again, edit mesh extrude, move it down. And this time I'm going to have to just scale it in again. Extrude, move it down. Scale it in. And I'm just going to carry this procedure the whole way down. So extrude, move it down, scale it in. Remember, if you are extruding, you've got to scale it or move it. Otherwise, you're going to have overlapping polygons. If I find that the, that the curve of the lamp is getting greater, I'll use more, um, basically, edge loops. There we go, so that's the bottom half done. And again, I'm just going to come up to the top part. I'm going to draw a marquee across my top polygons and just the uh, row polygons below that. And I'm going to hold shift and just deselect that polygon or that row of polygons. And again, I'm just going to go extrude, press W, move it up, scale it in. Exactly the same process as before.
Okay, so that's the main lamp done. All I have to do now is do that metal core that's going to cradle the light bulb. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude. And this time, instead of moving it first, I'm just going to press R, skid it in slightly. So we've got a smaller circle there to work with. Then I'm going to extrude again by pressing G and just move it up. Okay. And there we go, that's R done. Next thing we're going to do is the shade. So we've got a polygon pipe here, and I'm just going to draw that. So first when I click it, it's going to draw the radius. Then I click it again, it's going to draw the height. When I click it again, it's going to do this thickness. So we don't want it too thick, probably something along the lines like that. Now I'm going to go into my front view again, and I'm going to place it over there. That seems all right. Then I'm going to go into my vertex, move these vertices down, and I'm going to scale them out. Let's go into object mode to move this. Okay, so there we have our lamp. Last thing we need to do is what you can see all these, the shader on it isn't working too well thinking that it should be um, a hard edge instead of soft edge so again I'm going to select my lamp and I'm just going to go normals soft and edge okay and then I'm just going to go down to the bottom here double click this bottom edge and I'm going to go normals hard and edge on that one and that is our lamp with the shade